Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I'll be talking about the common everyday chemical reaction, which we commonly know as the rusting of iron. So before we go there, let's give ourselves a little background on what rust is. So rust is an iron oxide, which should be seen as red in color because of the metal's corrosion due to its exposure to water and air moisture. Now we get the picture. Since we gave ourselves a little review on what rust is, let us start discussing about the actual rusting of iron. So in every chemical reaction, if not all, it starts with elements and compounds that make it happen. And we call these the reactants. As for the resting of iron, its reactants are iron, dihydrogen monoxide, which is commonly known as H2O or water, and oxygen. The process of forming a chemical reaction can be understood better in a chemical equation, wherein the reactants are at the left side and the arrow pointing to the right indicates the formation of the new substances from the reaction. So from the combination of iron, H2 and oxygen, the overall reaction created a new substance which we all know as rust, the new equation which is 4Fe plus 6H2O plus 3O2 equals 4Fe parenthesis OH3. Rust isn't very beneficial to the society as of now because it has more disadvantages than advantages. Some of the disadvantages of rust are health risk, environmental risks, spend more money in order to maintain, spend more money to keep machines from stopping slash failing due to corrosion, and very costly plant shutdowns whenever failures happen in a plant. Since we have growing technology that's well monitored and being contributed by great scientists and innovators, maybe there will soon be new advantages and benefits for us. Well, that's all for this video about the rusting of iron. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more upcoming videos so you can easily watch out for them. And also, if you're interested, Please watch our previous video which talks about everything on Tuesday. So I'll see you soon guys. Bye!